Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Star Rail. Today we're finally going to face off Sparrow, which I've been waiting for for forever. Don't have a lot else to say, I just want this to be a series where there's no intro, there's no introduction needed. Let's just game. <laughs> That's how I feel. So we're gonna go and speak to our little buddy, the mole over there. Who I totally forgot the name of. I actually don't remember. Hook! That's right, Hook. I forgot about it. Hook? <laughs> you. You. This? I really wasn't expecting. What, are you the guide? So, the moles are a part of wildfire. <laughs> there are many wildfire, no? They said that. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark, Hook the Great. <laughs> what do you want? You're supposed to guide us. <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Oh. Uh. I will be your guide, friend. Okay. By order of Chief Oleg. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy <laughs> Sampo. I do like the idea of choosing a toddler, though. All right, all right. Don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh-huh. Uh, my specialties in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? Oh, so he has. You've been inside? Yeah, apparently. No. Oh. But well. I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. Mm -hmm. I can help you. You have my word. <laughs> Your word isn't worth anything. Let's hope you can walk the... Talk the talk, walk the walk. That's not is what that's not the saying, is it? Oh, like put his trust in you? Hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> you guys wouldn't have even gotten to know Wildfire without my help, right? I don't know. Seely probably would have guided me anyway. My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of Of oh, enough. Oh. Jeez, we believe you, okay? <laughs> Show us the way already. Alright, great. He's kinda right. Stay close. How about Lil Mole? Not gonna say anything. And leaves too. Oh, Sampo, oh wow. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Yes. Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. <laughs> okay, 88 degrees bedrock. This is Farog's lair? Apparently. I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Yeah. Well, it turns out it's pretty busy. It is very busy. Is that someone's stuff again? Many vagrants are Gonna staying here it. temporarily. <laughs> Their homes were overrun by monsters. Wow. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No, they're protecting. Or he's protecting them. No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. Yeah. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. I'd believe that. <laughs> If I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, rather not. Let's steal this lady's loot. <laughs> She's fine with it? Alright, thanks. <laughs> thanks, I guess. Collect some of this. Bonk a chest. We're in the thick of it. Instantly. Yo. Yo. Just settle down and listen to me, you artless little cells. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, the rap scene? Okay, let's hear it. Here's some rhymes to drive away those winter blues. 4,000 days with no light, gets dark. 4,000 kids with no home, that's stark. No more food left in the cupboard, the mood is dire. Like a fire burning, she knows it's bread. <laughs> she knows it's bread, her kid's desire. <laughs> Fragile, innocent, young eyes peeking out the windows. Life can be so tough, only your mama really ever knows. <laughs> Fixating, hating, these problems never really abating. Sweeping past outside, an honest shadow, take a look. 10 square feet of sadness written down in her notebook. Nothing down to starlight. Oh, it's so romantic. Then panting a scene that's heartbreaking and tragic. A broken heart, cause freedom keeps her going. Dignity stolen. We drift now that it's snowing. <laughs> just for a crust of bread, just for liberation. Go against the grain like that alien guardian. Oh yeah, that, that rhymes. The wheels they keep are turning in the snow nation. Our era will complete its recompletion. She said it like that, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Her performance ends. Enthusiastically applause. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> she looks really happy. I wanna hear a sad song. <laughs> no. Any new tracks? No, no, no. Listen, I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> She's been going for so long. Yeah, uh-huh. Forget about it. <laughs> Winter City Trap, damn. All right, not bad. Um, Is this thing gonna fight me? Nope. Is it when I'm gonna grab? No, okay, well, free loot. Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. <laughs> Why is it for a rapper in his vagrant camp? <laughs> Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. 
Check it. Moon of Asidious, no. <laughs> Get down below these and up all alone. Leave me Silence, alone. dismay. How to make sense of this vision of gray? You to protect, her to defend. Queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark. Or does uh. they keep him in home far apart? Like uh. death and honor, the struggle persists. Finding yeah. his parents a solitary wish. Crack uh. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Uh -huh. Plenty of characters. <laughs> keep your wits about you, friends. Sure. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. <laughs> You know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Yeah, I kind of, I'd almost feel for Sampo. Did you see how this popped up as well? I had to break two boxes, and we did. Great job, guys. We did our dailies. 23,000 XP over now. Boom. Hold still. You're nearly fixed. Huh? My design has been superseded by newer models. Wow. My components are no longer... Valuable. Damn. Hey, what are you talking about? He was actually trying to fix the robot. The robot's like, just don't bother. I'm not <laughs> worth shit anymore. <laughs> we explored enough. I want to hear Laura now. Well, wow, the whole gang is just what standing a heavy there. Gate. Uh, okay, watch this. I'm watching. Open sesame. Whoa. Whoa. It worked. <laughs> She's standing here so proudly. <laughs> is that a secret code or something? Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Usually. It's an imaginary password that children like to use. Uh huh. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Oh yeah, well he's gonna clap twice and it's gonna work. What about these clues of yours? Help us pry the gate open. Hmm. I was just about to get into those <laughs> before Miss March's colorful attempt. I liked it though. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. No. Oh. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. Uh -huh. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Fair enough. Joe Schmo kind of feels like Mika Schmidt or a Gep the Lep Angle. Uh, certification? Yeah, you need to be a certified VIP badass. Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can Sparrow get in scavengers. or out. Okay. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Oh, well, there's one right there. We can go get it. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. Uh huh. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky. <laughs> uh, time out. Where do we get this certification? You need to bring him a robot. Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? Yeah. They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Yeah. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Mm -hmm. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Well, let's go. What's the test? Spilling test or combat test? <laughs> Do they give you a gacha bot for the test? Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. I feel You that. guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? Sure. I'll go it do that. feels like the people here are in? all under- Oh man, I need the actual For the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. We know Branya. you've said this before, Branya. Don't take Svarog as an ordinary robot. Uh -huh. He's- Sentient. Uh, Special. Sentient. All right, here we go. Hey, friend. This has to be one of them, right? Yes. It looks so lame. Yeah, I registered that, and we're downgraded. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. Yeah, I think it's fine. Beep boop. <laughs> that scared me. W why? Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. <laughs> Certification failure. Wow. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Mm hmm. Launching processing. Oh, okay. Huh? Are we starting now? Apparently. Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Listening. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion <laughs> engine wrap tournament? It's gotta be 88 degrees or some internal shit. Internal construction what now? Yeah. How would we know anything about that? I know all about it. Sampo. Do you know the answer? I do. Sampo Gasky always knows the... <laughs> Wait, uh, what did it say again? Who's the international superstar? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Uh-huh. Well, I don't know everything. Oh. Sometimes I thought it was about to say around that. If you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. I already know. You might just hit the jackpot. 
already Please know. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion what if I get of the wrong? internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Oh, it's 88 degrees bedrock. Gotta be. Correct answer. Easy. Uh, whoa, was that a lucky guess? No. <gasps> Did you go to a music <sighs> festival without us? No, no, I didn't. Certification I wouldn't do that. Result. Success. Okay. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Now I don't know anything anymore from here on out. Please extend your right hand. Okay. My right hand? Oh, I didn't mind too. Here you go. Why is this part of the... Uh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do it then. So this is the certification Ew. mark? No. Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Ew, March. I'm so sorry. You got like a... Stamp on your hand? Can't this robot be more gentle with a pretty girl's hand? Right? Right? Oh, lordy. So you guys are gonna be talking too, I guess. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. That's that's stupid. You would create a micro vacuum that would implode. You know, it's not. How, how it do works. you know? We need to connect the microcrystalline unit uh -huh. to the operating brake module. Microcrystalline to the operating brake if module. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. Stop Real speaking. Smart. I already forget the words. No one. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub no. to get a vibrating drill to work. No way. <laughs> Marv? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. <laughs> ah, you're just salty, my friend. Salty. Bro, this modern language in this game always puts me on the wrong foot. Beep boop. Protocol. Initiating. Irritable. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. <laughs> huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? Oh, you're... he's gonna say... What did you just call me? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. <laughs> Ugh, let's get this over with. Yeah. Did you get your first certification? Yes. If not, then you're wasting your time. I you am also a robot. Here, look. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Uh-huh. Listen up. I'm listening. Tell me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to the which break. component? The break. The break module. Wrong. Congratulations. Fuck. Simple question. Terrible answer. <laughs> it's. Uh, can I smash this can opener already? <laughs> yeah, please do. Ha, you wanna go? You cut me in a bad oh. mood. Let's do this. If we turn you no. into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Oh, we do. It's me. Oh, I should answer the wrong thing every time. <laughs> I actually thought that was the right answer, though. Keep up. Told you I could. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks Wait, for the stamp, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> One certification coming right up. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Please extend I'll, your right I'll hand. I'll do it this time, March. Put your hand up. <laughs> March, you do it. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't want to do that to March. Not you. The girl over there. Um, I'm so sorry, March. Huh? Me again? <laughs> it hurts, you know. Aw, <laughs> ow. There you are. Only one more to go. Uh huh. Now, please leave me in peace. Uh, this robot didn't seem that bad in the end. I could have sworn I, I listened to that conversation and I remembered the whole break thing, but I guess not. Beep boop. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. What do you mean? Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Just beat it up. Just beat Protocol. it up already. Inish, nish, 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 nish. nish. Initialization failure. Uh oh. Attempting system restoration. <laughs> Not encouraging. Just beat it up. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. Oh. External threat detected. Well, there you go. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, no more <laughs> racking our brains. Yes. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Let's go. Let's rock. Boop, there you go. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. <laughs> Let me try and reset its system. You do Certification it, Certification system online. Oh. Please extend your right hand. Well, oh, here you go, Mark. is it always me? You gotta be the one that gets bullied, because it's funny. Uh, 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 how come it hurt even more than the other two? Uh, poorly calibrated. Oh. At least that's the final step. <laughs> she got so quiet. You can get in now, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Sparrow's certification system is no match for us. I really hope that has no long-term effects on your hand, though. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Yep. Deal. 
Items obtained. Robot Settlement Level 3 Certification. Another thing I really dislike Geptalep for is that he made me bench March. Because they do the same thing, except Geptalep is AoE March. So I think March is the one that's gonna have to get benched soon. Which I hate, because she's actually my favorite Hoyoverse character ever. <laughs> anyway, let me in. Oh my god, it worked, March. See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, mm -hmm. huh? Right? Mm -hmm. Chief Oleg knew all along mm -hmm. that I... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. Right. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Yeah. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. Uh-huh. You must proceed with the utmost caution. Now Run. to set the record straight with Farag. <laughs> There. Yes. Dude, did anyone hear what I just said? I wanted to sprint in as well. Run, let's go, baby. Oh, needs to be activated from downstairs again. Is this a, a healing gate? thing? It is, right? Nice. Oh, why is there another gate here? It's fine. This is just hacking. Hacking test. Uh, I'm gonna grab this actually. It looks let's see. like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Really now. Sampo, what is this? Huh? <laughs> Sampo? Yeah, I bet he's behind it, opening it for us. Where is he? I don't know. Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. I, it's just a guess. Mm. This isn't the first time. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. That, or maybe Sampo told him to come help us. Visitors for Zvarog detected. He's gonna open the gate. Protocol initiating. Uh-huh. Scanning. Yeah. Verifying. Okay. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Here's a certification. We just want to see your master. <laughs> oh, good plan. Treat the robots <laughs> like guard dogs. Just so in shock, though. How is that gonna improve our chances? Hey, be patient. Look, by work. Certification failure. Aw. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Can I beat you up for them? Request rejected. Oh. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Uh, she'll be fine. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? Yeah, I gave her some painkillers. We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? The only trustable human, supposedly. Sorrow's family. Family. Huh. Weird. If I said owner, <laughs> I probably would have been banned from this mansion, so. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Yeah. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Tell us. Obtaining audio data. Please wait. <laughs> oh no. The energy core's bearing component is broken. Uh. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Okay. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivita. Timmy. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. <laughs> Is this Timmy? Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. <laughs> she went back? Apparently. But we were just there. Yep. Sounds like we better head over again. Wow. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? No. Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. I died like a couple times, Mark. You died a couple times. The town has danger lurking in every corner, but we should go and find Clara anyway. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Mm-hmm. Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Well, I think she's stronger than you think. Her strength belies her appearance, but... Yeah, exactly. Even so, <laughs> <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. True. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Wow, we're really this just going back to Rivet Town already. Where should we start? Oh, no. Claire said she was going to find components, right? Yeah. Let's start with Nat's storage room. Of course, everything is Nat's stuff. We can move with big sis, have you abandoned me? What? What in the world is that? Can I just run past these people, you think? <laughs> March actually making these sounds in game two. Hey, destructive impulse. All right, we're back. Oh, no way. This is her friend from last time. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? Definitely. These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? <laughs> Location. Shh. It's about to say something. Uh -oh. Listen. I'm listening. Initializing self repair module. Uh oh. Initialization failure. Oh no. Clara in danger. Oh no. Must protect. I'm on it, Perkins. In danger? What do you mean? Well, he means that he's not there to protect her. Workshop. 
target oh god must be eliminated. We gotcha Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop do you not see Clara, the things you just sprinted she, by not good uh -huh. she's in danger mm -hmm. quick let's head over to the workshop and check it out okay i know the way oh no i can already see what's about to happen oh hello there and svarg's gonna think we did it there's something big over there and, and there's clara <laughs> we have to save her i'm on it let's go no need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. But Bronny, the parties can't go bigger than four. We're here, Clara. Please be like weak to ice or something. Sure to crash the party? Oh, my king. He's actually weak to ice. The best comp. Bada bing. And weak to this? Nah, but you are you are a this gift for my team comp. I probably should have bursted first so I can get energy back. But hey, uh, we're, we're, we're a little noob. We're learning. So we're early. We're critting though. Bonk. Yeah. Yeah, I should I use my burst broken. more. I don't know why, this is the same on every game. I'm so like conservative with them. Just, just use them. Just play the game. There. They're free. We can use them many times. I will do this. Oh, never mind, we killed. <laughs> Did we crit? Must have. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? I was arguing with that robot. We're friends. Thanks, everyone. Okay. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. How are you still so quiet? You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? <laughs> there is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. Mm -hmm. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. Commission us, we're mercenaries. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. <laughs> she says giggling. <laughs> you guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. All right, sounds great. We're coming with you. <laughs> we were just about to pay him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. Gotta kick his ass. No. <laughs> this time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Mm -hmm. Can you take us to meet him? Yes. But Mr. Svarag doesn't like talking to others, especially Wildfire. Wildfire won't be there. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Oh, wow. She's convinced that she's going to be there, too. Okay. Um, I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. And you. So, I can't take you to see him. Oh, my God. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Oh my god. Listen, kid. You... <laughs> Just gonna, don't, don't be like this, Sila. She's gonna be sad and scared. Uh, Clara. There you go. You said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. Mm -hmm. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I don't know. I know, Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Yeah. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mm -hmm. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Wow. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that just putting us in a cage? Yes. It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? <laughs> How is that better than putting up a fight? I agree with her. See it as returning the favor, Clara. We have to see him, whatever the cost. Why don't we think of another way? How? No, we have to see him. I want to see him too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really can't help you with this. Then I will kidnap you. <laughs> and he will be forced to come rescue you. Um, if you don't mind... I still have important things to do. No, nope, kidnap her. I'll go back. Oh shit, she wasn't done. No, Clara. she's running away. Capture her. It's no use, <laughs> Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. Oh well, you're very useful, aren't you? We will have to think of another way. Uh, we should have captured her. <laughs> it would have been That's a great no way. ordinary kid. So young and yet so stubborn. Yeah. No. Intelligent? No, stubborn. She's incisive and determined. 
In sharp contrast to you, March. Don doesn't speak. The only the only way he uses his breath is to shit on March. Did you really have to add that last part? That's the only reason he spoke. It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svara. Wow, shocker, guys. If we can't even persuade Clara, what? <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. <laughs> yeah. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. Yes, we must make a maths file. Let's make an XL. Maybe he'll accept it then. <laughs> the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Uh-huh. Those were her exact words. Yeah. For me, that's our starting point. You're joking that this is... I, I thought we were going to open that gate and talk to the man. But no, we're doing maths. So... You think Sparog's logic has a hole in it? There's always a loophole. No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. Mm -hmm. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. Right. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Is this us? We're the new variable. We need him to recognize our value. Mm, precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. Yeah. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. Yeah. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? Probably not. <sighs> There's always a way. First, we have to convince Clara. <laughs> I've been saying this for a while. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Mm-hmm. Let's catch up with her. All right. Hopefully it's just a little conversation. Who knows? Run. Wait. Cancel the run. Run this way. <laughs> Yoink. Run. I'm with you. I shielded up. She turned that way. Quick. Oh. Secret passage. Wait, this works now? Nah, but. Chop, chop. Go, 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 go. Come back here, Clara. <laughs> Bam. I'm destroying everything on my way. Huh? Where'd she go? I don't know. We just saw her go this way. Yeah. <sighs> We'll just have to head straight and keep looking. All roads lead to Rome, as they say. Bonk. No, 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 no. No need to patrol here, dude. Um, I mean, hey. Freeze. Nice shot, March. Sick. I don't have anything that's good against them. Oh, like. yeah. Bonk. Got him. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, what a chain Time reaction. I think one's after me. Never mind. The best is yet to come. Ooh, Clara, I'm destroying your bots. You probably wouldn't want me to do this. I saw her standing in the corner you. there. That's probably not Jack the fight. best way to engage into peace talks, destroying her robot yeah. friends, but nice. Very sorry, Clara. I will be stealing your stuff, though. <laughs> hey. Hmm. Why won't it... Oh, don't worry. I've got knowledge in this. Knowledge. Ah. Uh. I can't figure it out. Ah, maybe we could fix it for you in exchange of meeting Svarog face to face. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's oh. you. Yes. You came with me after all. Well, you ran away. I don't think it was coming with you. We couldn't give up that easily. You're the underground's only hope. You keep saying that, but... Yeah. Are you repairing this installation, Clara? <laughs> Hit a snack? <laughs> huh? How did you know? Maybe because you were in fact saying it out loud. The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. <laughs> you replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out. She's like, what? Right? How do you know? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? He's hiding in the mansion. I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. Mm. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Big, big trouble. Was it really an accident? You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> I'm laughing because people tell me that often. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers. But the bearing is causing a jam. Mm-hmm. And there's a misalignment. Oh, of course. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. Sure. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Mini game time? Nah, no way. Mini game time. Can we really fix this? Uh, yes. Relax. We got this. Right, Don Hung? Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that's crazy. Connect all the terminals. This seems like it'd be the easiest puzzle in planet Earth, no? Really? Challenge Whoa, complete. It lit up. Thanks, guys. Clark, you seriously couldn't figure that out? I'm sorry, but that was not the most difficult. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. Really? So, like actually. The settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. But they're doing campfires. They don't have geomero lighters. Um. Yeah. Starting to be pretty indebted now. We're not trying to win you over. <laughs> totally not. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine. Uh huh. And you risk going into the town for supplies. Mm hmm. You're good people. Oh, thanks. If there's any other way I can help you, <laughs> I'll do my best. Damn it. It didn't this... work. Yeah. Uh, how are we going to convince her? Uh, maybe we get candy. Candy always helps. <laughs> Remind her of the present situation. Point out the variable. Make something up. Nah, we shouldn't make something up. That's not gonna work. Yeah, sure. Present situation. <laughs> the present situation is... Uh, we're here! Yeah! This planet isn't doomed after all! Exactly! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? <laughs> well... Uh... <laughs> you do look very different from other people. <laughs> right! That's because we're She's not so from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworld, this is cool. Then the results don't apply to the present situation. Yep. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? Hmm? It was a oh, long wow. time ago. The same time the underworld was sealed off, I think. Were you even born? Circumstances have changed <laughs> since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? <laughs> Not to mention we're sh 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 uh, Not even from this planet. No, no, no. <laughs> I like the <laughs> three people more than what we started. <laughs> That's your big reveal. Yes. Uh, the important part is we're from a different planet. There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us. You know? Mm -hmm. Different planet? Yeah, we're Don't aliens. treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. You are a child. I don't... You are, Clara. Don't, what do you mean? Don't treat me like a child. You are a child. Yeah, <laughs> here it is. You are a child, though, and they're not made up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, she and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Okay, and who are you? Branya, do you really? <laughs> oh, wait, why do they seem to know each other more? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, <laughs> but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? Neither do we. I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, <laughs> Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Nah, Branya. Let them meet Svarag. And let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, she's thinking about it. You've already seen our ability. We will bring change to this world. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, that's too much. That's so whiny. I hate that. We will bring change to this world. Pinky promise. I... <sighs> oh, yes. Okay. I'll take you to see Mr. Sparrow. Let's go. Clara's also a variable. Really? Awesome! Awesome, let's go. Mm, I understand now. Okay. Trying to change Mr. Sparrow's mind on my own would take forever. Mm -hmm. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, mm -hmm. I don't think I could do it. Right. And all the while, people would be getting sick. Yep. Losing their homes. And yep. Fighting. Mm hmm. Just like in the mine. Yep. I don't want that to happen. Good. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. You're a little champion. Everyone, follow me. Yes. We Brandy, did it. I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. Well said, chump. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. Pranya, stop at you. Watch this. Pooh! 
Ooh, what is, how sick was that? That was pretty sick, right? Hey, what's up, dude? I'm back, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Wandering robot? It's called Timmy. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarov. <laughs> Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? Yes. It's okay. They're all my guests. <laughs> Command received. A whole ass access army walks in. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Nice. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Thank you, Timmy. Pat Timmy on the head. Oh. Uh... If you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. I'll try. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. Mm-hmm, totally. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Okay. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. I think it's probably a, a, a trio, a star trio moment and not anyone else. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's go and see him. It feels like a moment of no going back. Uh. Of, you're just waiting here, you weirdo. You're not even like in a house or something. You're just standing behind the gate. So nice I'm and back, cozy. Mr. Hello. I see that the energy supply system is back online. <laughs> Thank you, Clara. <laughs> but why have you brought them? Hello. Mr. Sparrow, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. <laughs> Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Easy. Background unknown. Sus. Classification unknown. Super cool. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Imagine this an actual mini game. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Uh huh. Quick, time to smooth talking. I don't know if that'll work. Uh, we're not interested in stoking conflicts. We're here about the future of the underground. To be or not to be? That is the question. No. This philosophy might even like be like, oh, you're, you're not even real. You're not real. We're not here. <laughs> We're not interested in stoking conflict. You seek peace. Understood. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, your statement is unilateral. Okay. My position will be determined after assessing the result of our negotiation. Cool. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Sure. <laughs> He cut you off completely. This guy. Uh, maybe to be or not to be was the angle. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're a variable. <laughs> Do you know what a Stellaron is? Oh. Stellaron. Yes. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. She. You were broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. Uh-huh. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. And we know about it, which means that we're not from here. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. Oh, God. I demand that you reveal your true intention. <laughs> oh, God. As expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. Uh-huh. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. <laughs> Everything depends on it. All right, well, we want to bring this world's disaster to a close. Basically. Oh. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with Estelaron. Yeah. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human oh, greed. Oh, God. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. Oh, no. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with Estelaron will result oh, in grave no. consequences. Oh no. Reassessing. <laughs> Target threat index critical. We're, we're gone. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. I should have just been memeing from the start. Maybe he loves memes. <laughs> Your powers of calculation suck. <laughs> Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. <laughs> calculation result remains unchanged. Oh, perfect. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Oh. Requesting extermination <laughs> protocol launch. Wonderful. E extermination? In the literal sense? Hey, if we beat him up, he'll know that we're strong, right? Maybe in that case, we're a variable. These sure. Are over. March. Prepare for combat. Please be weak to ice. Please be weak to ice. Please be weak to ice. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Clara. Leave, Clara. Oh no. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <laughs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Uh, it's gonna be some relief at least. Prototype number three. Monitoring automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Wow. Successful. Monitoring automaton. Annihilation permitted. Wow. Okay. Jeez. 
All right, he's not weak to ice. He is weak to electric, though. Ow, I should have shielded way earlier, huh? I lost half health bar for nothing. Big fight time. I'm a little bit worried. Um, he's also just extremely strong against a bunch of things. Serval's doing a ton of damage, actually. Wow, it feels like slow-mo when you're not on fast speed anymore now. Bonk. Right in the knee, dude. Shrewd bombing. Jeez! My friend. Oh. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor? <laughs> Yo, Nat, hello? Okay, you know I actually was almost about to bench March for Nat. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Oh, that's so cute, Nat. Let's go. And Sampokoski. Oh, he went to get Natasha to save us? Nat, uh, how did you... She's gonna heal us as we fight? Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? <laughs> Luckily, Sampo's got your back. <laughs> Thank you, Sampo. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Why does she seem like in a very positive way relieved? Base breached. Oh, oh God. Personnel detected. Yeah. Assessing. Yeah. All subjects are high risk individuals. Oh, Lordy. Commencing complete annihilation. Oh, and now he's gonna go real mode. Oh, please be weak to ice this time. <laughs> Oh no, some Pukoski not saving the day once again. Ow, 75, to down broken. two, I'm gonna guess 71. 70, oh, 5%, sure not bad. Party? He did reach and shield off that, which isn't hype. Oh no, I knew it, I knew you'd do some stupid like that. You broke my defense? Oh god, what the hell? <laughs> Get me out of there! Svarog, you animal. I can't even shield me? Nah, but if he grabs Serval, I'm actually doomed. I have nothing to deal with the shield effectively. Ow! That deals damage. Please break the shield. Maybe it saves us. Did it? I think it did. Ow! Don't kill me! It's not looking too hot, friends. But wait, Natasha's here. Natasha's here. There's no way Dude Man brought Natasha and then Natasha doesn't even heal me. There's no way. Double shield or tech, it's good, it's big. Uh, I'll AoE, maybe we can kill both. It didn't take any, like, freeze dot damage. Oh, lordy, please not me. Okay, good. We E him? For 1% of his health bar? Ah, <laughs> no. Sparog, no! E oh, wait, it's not through his shield either. You suck. <laughs> I'm actually like, it's so weird. I've never had this in a game or like in a story game. I actually, I don't know if it's the music. I'm actually kind of stressed out. For some reason, it feels like there's something on the line. Please don't grab Serval. Please. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Just focus him. Just focus him. Just kill him. Okay, big freeze. Get the lep. Gepa the lepa. That freeze may have been a difference maker. No, no, no. I have to eat. Then I can get my. Yeah, yeah. We good. No. Oh, wait. Can you just let him go? Ow! I think it's fine. We just do one of these. Ba, ba, ba. 1% health, and then bonk! Off my- oh god. Oh, what the hell. I thought it'd be dead. How are you at 1% health? Do I have to break the shield? Okay. <sighs> Relief. Oh god! Yeah, don't exterminate him. Oh no. Oh no. No. Clara, you. <laughs> Natasha was about to exterminate him. Okay. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please, please don't hurt him. I didn't think we were gonna kill him either. Clara. <laughs> oh no. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? We have good intentions too. It's awful. Oh, I think it's a no. Mr. Sparog, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true. Oh. Right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Oh. Like, like family. That's so cute. Recently, I learned something new. Oh, here we go. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. <laughs> even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. Mm-hmm. People still want to know what it's like. Yeah. 
Assessment system reset. Successful. Oh, there you go. Processing variables. Uh huh. You got defeated by us. See, this is this is a variable. Variable one. Clara's request. Uh huh. Variable two. Outsiders' intentions. Mm -hmm. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making oh. authority to <laughs> outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. Hell yeah, let's go. So... so we did it? I think she did it. <laughs> ah, our strength has been recognized, but it was definitely thanks to Clara. Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel. Probably right? some baloney tech where we steal the info chip and still read it, but... Yeah, no, this is better. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Why would he say he's not allowed to share it then? We'd just be like, what? Huh? My robot brain does not process Stellaron information. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? Uh, it's a bit of an <laughs> early claim, but I guess we're making progress? No, Zila. <laughs> yeah. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. I was gonna say. <laughs> she. Finally. We finally made it to this point. What do you mean? Uh, what's up? Nervous? <laughs> no. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. Okay, what's worrying you? The truth can be heartbreaking. It's up to you to make your own judgment about who's lying now. She. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. Oh. I'm listening. Oh. This is about to be good. This has got to be good. Half the Wizard of Oz. Nah, bro, what is this real life reference again? Later, dude. I'm gonna rob your castle real quick. Bah. <laughs> Walk and destroy stuff. Learn about the truth. Quick revive. Oh, right, I'm dead. I can't even roleplay as myself. Wait, give me a second there. Sparrow. Okay, stop with the sad music. I can't handle it anymore. I'm back, though. I'm revived. Play the happy music. All right, let's hear it. The truth. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Yeah. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Yeah, I'm sure I can come back, right, eventually. To get that, for example. Let's have it. Requesting database materials cache. Uh -oh. Serial number 13175. Encryption level highest. Alright. Let's hear it. Request approved. Transmission. This has gotta be a cutscene. This has gotta be. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. Uh huh. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. Okay. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... I remember this name. I don't remember what it is exactly, though. It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. Yeah. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabonk's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. So they knew. They knew about the Stellaron and what it did. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. Mm -hmm. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. Okay. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's I was gonna return say. to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Uh, unless? Unless what? Yeah. Please, proceed, madam. What he says. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. Okay. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Sure. Cash number 13175. Oh. Transmission complete. There's more. Next transmission. Cash number... Two, four, eight, three, zero. All right. I don't understand, Doctor. Uh oh. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. I assume this is the same man. You're, you're still young, child. Uh, there will come a day. <laughs> a day when you do understand. 
Are we supposed to recognize this this little researcher? The supreme guardian. She she sees further than you or I. Mm -hmm. All the decisions are not for the security of Malabar. Yeah, do we think so? I just think it's a shame. Uh huh. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. Right. <laughs> Don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... Oh. <laughs> destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. I... I'm not sure. Like, they, they seem to just know everything we knew already. And supposedly their goal is still good, they just want to destroy this Teleron, but they don't know how. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. Let's get it. This is... Why is there a robot here? <laughs> I think this might be Kokolia? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot body. And this is us, then. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. The, or at least this is Svarog, I assume. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. <laughs> Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Is he just sitting there with a gun? Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Okay. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, wow. what should we do with the robot? Keep him. Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Uh. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. Okay. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. What's going up with the development group? Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. Okay. One day. Somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Really? Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <laughs> they were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. <laughs> I didn't quite understand, because someone go over it again. Yeah, sure. Putting minor details aside, this is the conclusion. Eminent individuals. Not to mention the Guardian herself knew early on that the Stellaron was the source of disaster on this world. Yeah, everyone knew the Stellaron was the problem. But in order to maintain the peace, they decided to hide the truth. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Well, I think that's what we said. We are, we are a threat to the voices in her head. Like, the Stellaron has more or less taken control of her, right? We were trying to destroy it. Branya, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. Uh huh. It must be a lot to take in for you. Why? Why, mother? <laughs> maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Oh maybe yeah, that's she... it. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't aware. You're right. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. Mm hmm It's time for you to make a decision. She. That's crazy. Hey, can I have a word with you? Me. I know that we'll need time to process this new information. Yeah. But we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. I agree. For sure. Mr. Svarov, are you okay? <laughs> Let me repair your language module first. <laughs> Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. <laughs> Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Oh. Architect machine error records intact. Perfect. War of defense combat data intact. Well, Geomero development group error records intact. We didn't destroy him too much, it seems. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rig oh. intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior <laughs> intact. That's cute. So your memory module is okay? Yes. I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. No. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping you in? You just said that. There are multiple backups. <laughs> I can recover them at any time. Wow. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? Oh. I cannot grant this request. <laughs> records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. 
Oh. They must remain intact. Damn. They are. Members oh, of family. Oh, stop. I understand. Mr. Sparrow, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. <laughs> That's the sweetest. That's actually the sweetest moment. What the hell? I look, I don't want to kill this man. At daybreak, the guardian shall be a glittering star, illuminating the people's path. Yeah. At nightfall, the guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Uh huh. Oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Perhaps. Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. <laughs> You don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know. Uh huh. Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? Mm -hmm. You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? <laughs> Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? Mm -hmm. This isn't the overworld. I don't do envy and etiquette down here. True. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. The underworld's great. I just want to be clear the people. in myself anyway. first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied, it's all muddled together in my mind. I just, I don't know what I should believe. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. Or that. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. This is true. <sighs> See this right? Sub simple. Let's go, partner. Yo. Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? Uh, it's like the pain of seeing this little family be so cute. I know your heart is bursting with gratitude. Yeah, but so there's true. no need to thank me. Mm -hmm. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. Of course. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. No, wow, that's uh, really, it feels great. What did you call in for reinforcements? Ah, I knew that you get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. <laughs> Pretty sensible, right? Wow, you're awful. Nice work. You saved us, sure. My pleasure. Friends should look out for each other. Good for business. Uh-huh. And a plan B for their plan B. Mm-hmm. Plan C, we call that. That's smart. Thanks, Sampo. Easy there. Don't get mushy on me now. I have to. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. Mm -hmm. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. I feel like I'm going to change your mind about that. <laughs> you see? Gotcha! <laughs> Seriously, though, Sampo will always be happy to assist you. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're hard to believe, man. You're a little goofball. The furnace core. Yes. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Sure is. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Of course. Now, we have to wait and see, but maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Sure. <laughs> when did doctors start carrying weapons around? Your support came at the right time. Thank you. Um... <laughs> oh. I haven't been truthful with you. Let's hear it then. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. <laughs> You're joking. Come. You are the leader? Huh? Huh? So oh my the real chief? god. What about Oleg? Nah, you cheesed me. You played with my emotions. I can't believe it. Oleg has always acted on my behalf. Okay. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Wow. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. Okay. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svaro. Wow. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan wow <laughs> and for that we were rolled we, my utmost we were actually rolled <laughs> you're welcome all the days work for a hero yeah sure we did for us it wasn't as selfless as you made out well to be fair on her side it was pretty selfless as well no or at least not in our interest any chances of a more tangible show of things you have Wildfire's full support. Uh, I was talking like more personal, perhaps. Like, you want to go drink a cup of coffee or something. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, yeah. there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. Well, we could. <laughs> it's not smart. We could. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. Yeah. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. Yeah, fair enough. As for wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Mm -hmm. Of course, oh. there's no doubt about that. 
So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Okay. Sila. Sila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning I know. and can read a situation like no one else. I know. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. Mm -hmm. She'll definitely be able to help you. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, you also have Bronya. Now. Yeah, very fair. <laughs> Will she stand with us? It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. Definitely. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Wow. Hey. When's the last time you got some rest? I don't know. I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Yes, pretty much. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. You're right. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. Okay. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Wow. Well, oh, what? Hello there, the seriousness of breakfast. How cute! That's so cool! Did she just give us that? Shadow of Destruction, seriousness of breakfast. It increases the warrior's damage by 12% every defeated enemy, 4% up to 3 times. Shadow of Destruction. So, I believe that's this? Activate. Attacking an enemy with physical weakness restores the Trailblazer's HP equal to 5% of their attack. Hell yeah! We're slaying! Oh look, it's a face! I love it's a face. Relics. Do we get more? Oh! I got boots! Speed increases by 6%. Heck yeah! I don't have- Oh, speed boots! No, I'll go attack boots. We're early game. <laughs> outgoing heal. <laughs> it's the only- I hate that the main stat is outgoing heal, but it's the only four piece we can wear. I guess effect hit rate- I don't have any effects though, no? HP main, I guess. <laughs> Alright, cool. I equipped everyone with some gear. Now we're actually looking pretty decent. Anything Take else? Take a good now? rest while you still can. I will. Your adventures on the surface won't be easy going. Man. That was such like a big arc. Your gentle doctor act is pretty good. <laughs> what do you mean? That's me too, you know. Okay. The me that my patients see, at least. Well, that's what I was- it's not you. Our identities are like masks. Sure. When we switch between them, we change the way the world perceives I us. I know. But our hearts never change. Okay, you know- fuck, you got me good. <laughs> that's smooth. That's smooth. You're like Yelan. Alright, well, uh, we know all of this. She told us all of this. Things have settled for now. You should rest while you can. Wow. Okay, well, I think not good at farewells would be a good moment to end it because this will unlock a bunch of stuff for us, such as the abyss. Equilibrium. Uh. The universe uh. should be in equilibrium. <laughs> Hello? The air seems to heat up suddenly, and a sticky wind grips your ankles, leaving you intuitive, intuit, intuitive, intuitive, <laughs> uncomfortable. Equilibrium mutters a low, emotionless voice. Another whisper echoed, as if in symphony. The universe should be in equilibrium. <laughs> I repeat it. Yes. <laughs> equilibrium. <laughs> the arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. Uh huh, and the echoes continue. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. Uh huh. The strong will be given greater opportunities. I see. The weak, a chance to breathe. That sounds reasonable. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales <laughs> of power. Uh huh. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. Mm hmm. You will encounter stronger <laughs> enemies, harder puzzles. Yeah. And Greater rewards. Yeah, I get it, man. I understand. This is introducing me to the abyss, probably. After equilibrium. The voice keeps repeating. You will go on to face yet more trial. Thank you, voice. <laughs> Please explain in human language. The voice does not answer. Is this the so-called dynamic difficulty? The voice does not answer. Shocker. Can I refuse this trial? It is your <laughs> choice to make. But in the end. Equilibrium will be up. Shut up. <laughs> Get to the point. What are the rewards? You will obtain more. <laughs> more of the material. More of the spiritual. Mm -hmm. More of the countable. More of the immeasurable. The immeasurable, really. What is obtained will be in proportion to your strength. <laughs> and thus. <laughs> In equilibrium. In equilibrium. All right then, for the equilibrium. Equilibrium. <laughs> it is for this. You're worse than the robot. All worlds change. 
Uh huh. Actually, the worst. Oh, it's not even the it's not even the abyss. It's it's like ascending world level. You will need to complete the trials at equilibrium to increase your equilibrium level. To the stronger stats. Of course, the female will drop more rewards. Very interesting. Trial of equilibrium part one. We should do this. Let me see. Not going to farewells is probably the end of this arc. So let's do that first, and we'll see. It's fine. Let's just let's just get it going. Ah <sighs> well. Now that we're done with that whole situation uh -huh. in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. Sheesh, hey. Took long enough. <sighs> but thinking about it, yeah. I feel a bit bad about Clara. Mm -hmm. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of a bum moment. I wonder if there is a way that I actually could have conv convinced them. I feel like the game does have multiple options, but the fight was kind of cool. So, sorry I wasn't able to persuade Sparog. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. Yeah. And it was Svarog who attacked first. This is true. We didn't have any other choice. It's, I mean, we didn't, like, destroy him completely. So in that sense, we're good. Nat tried, <laughs> because she apparently, in the end, was the leader of Wildfire, which is nuts. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over Oh, what it. did you mean, huh, Marsh? You always do this to me. You always bully me. I never do it back. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, mm -hmm. and they're willing to help us out. Yeah. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. Yeah, essentially. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Uh, everybody, it's time for the Danhan recap of the day. Where's the Stellaron? Exactly. <laughs> we don't even have the Stellaron's coordinates and location. Yeah. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. Definitely, definitely. I should have read all the options. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Yeah. Oh man, the last one's probably a meme. Actually, I've been having some dreams. Dreams? Yes, nightmares more like, about her mom. Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Yeah. Telling Don Hong in March 7th about the voices you heard in your recent dreams. Hmm. All three dreams were the same. Yes. With Kokolia. And that other voice. Exactly. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. Do you think it would be? I feel like it's pretty thick. Like, the odds of us dreaming of Kokoli are pretty big, no? She's probably the thing that's on our mind the entire time. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. Mm -hmm. If there is some meaning behind them. Yeah. Maybe you're having them because... Because? Because of the Stellaron inside her? Yes. That's my hunch. But I have no proof. It would that would be a good reasoning. <sighs> well, then that's as good as I'm resonating with now. them. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? I don't know. After all this talk, we're still back at square one. Well, at least we can like move around the planet, kind of. Really? Never mind. Kokoli still wants us dead. <laughs> we solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Yeah. Let's get some rest. Sure. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of okay. this. Okay. Also. There's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Okay. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Who would this be? You're not talking about Branya, right? We've talked plenty to Branya. Hey, Gertie. Yo, you finished your work today? I made a mushroom soup. Yeah, sure. Like, can I get some mushroom soup? You're back. <laughs> oh. I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Zvar. I tried. Amazing. It didn't really go smoothly, but yeah. It must have been exhausting. Please, have some food and get a good night's rest. I'm gonna leave another five-star review. I suppose it would be good to get some sleep. I suppose you're right. Hey, you guys wanna have another nightmare? Can't wait for it, let's go. A wave of tiredness comes over you, reminding you that you haven't rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. Oh yeah? I call that foreshadowing. Oh, hello. Over there. See that? Yeah. That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. Okay. And it's also where I grew up. Rivet Town's not that big. I feel like you... Okay, whatever. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. Yeah. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. Uh -huh. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. Aww. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg. Wow. Occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Okay. <sighs> That sounds nice. Nice? Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? She's a dummy. Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. <laughs> You're, her bubble is so small. Uh, you are always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, right. Uh, 
what it's I meant not gonna was... fix no. No. I kind of envy you, Zila. Don't say that. Oh, no, no, no. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Mm -hmm. Every day, all I hear is, remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the architect's admonishments, Bronya. <laughs> Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Bronya. Uh-huh. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. Yeah. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. The grass is always greener on the other side kind of mindset. I hate it. No, I can't. But more importantly, Frick. what kind of foul language are you using? Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Say it. In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. Oh, wow. Damn, it's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. Uh huh. <laughs> no, no, that won't be necessary. You know why? Cause she's not going back. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. Uh huh. Is this my dream? <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart to heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. Of course. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and. Figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. Well, <laughs> not that far off. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, mm -hmm. there was no difference between the two places. Yeah. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Yeah. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, mm -hmm. the ties between people. Yeah. These precious things must certainly still connect us all. You'd hope so. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. <laughs> when we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmented. When we were children. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. Uh -huh. But... If that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. How sweet. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Uh. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... This was more. As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. That's what I was thinking earlier, yeah. Why does my mother hide it from me? And Actually... Why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? Mm -hmm. It just... It doesn't make sense. If you were to be the successor, the Stellaron would also corrupt your mind. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. You're gonna get jailed. Go ask her directly. You're jailed. You're dead. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are yes, you? Yes, she is. A alone? <laughs> you can't. Uh, this plan is... Stupid. I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. Mm -hmm. That will never change. Okay. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Okay. Even if... It has risks. <sighs> Bronya. Bronya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see Wow. It, they'll know what to do. Yes, yeah, save her from jail. <laughs> okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change uh -huh. it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Aww. And I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble no matter what. Just come already. So... Did you come to this spot when you were a child? She grew up here. This is the orphanage. Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. Yeah. Very nice. I love the rocks. <laughs> third wheeling again. Every time with these two. Always third wheeling. <sighs> that was a good Cheap seat. room. I should go meet up with March and Dan Hung. Yeah. You didn't say Hong, you said Hung. That's not his name. We actually had a decent night of sleep. Can you believe it, Gertie? That was incredible. But did dream, it was kind of wholesome though. All right, what's up, gang? Took you long enough, sleepyhead. Yeah. 
We've been waiting all day. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. Uh huh. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night yeah. or snoozing away until the day's almost up. <laughs> Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Well, you should wake me up then. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? It was kind of wholesome, but yeah, I did. <laughs> I dreamed that Hook and Pom Pom got into a squabble. <laughs> huh, that's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? I think actually Hook would win that. Well then. Let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move and see if they have any new discoveries. All right. Let's go. I can't wait to finally get back above ground. Yeah, sure. Imagine we've been here for less than a week. These people have been living here for years. Oh, <sighs> Minecraft zombie in my left ear. This is the the usual Wildfire meetup spot. Oh, look who's here. Hello. It's the Bane of Sfarag, the big hero of the underworld. <laughs> She she wants credit too, and the other big heroes, <laughs> Dan Hung and Mark Seven. Wow. Were those lines rehearsed? <laughs> yes. Where's Natasha? Is she. She's here? a real boss. We only want to talk to a real boss anymore. She has a bunch of other things to attend to. Okay. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. Uh -huh. I speak on behalf of Natasha. Yeah, I, you don't speak at all. Your mouth's been closed this entire time. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. No, I understand. I think it's, like, for your own <laughs> safety is fair. Doesn't matter, anyway. <laughs> Whatever happened to trust? I'm not seeing the apology here. <laughs> oh, well. I might just be second in command, uh -huh. but I still have a lot of responsibility. I know. I couldn't give Natasha up right when we first met, could no, I? No, I understand. I had no clue that you bunch would become big heroes of the underworld. Fair enough. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safe. Yeah. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fellow for help. He's, you know, I don't know if you guys hate, what do you, actually, let me know. I'm very intrigued if you guys think he's good or bad, or if you're further in the story and you know what you thought at this point, because I think he's good. I want to get, I, I want to believe in him. He's just a goofball. I want to have faith, and it'll be extra funny when, if he does backstab, but I think he's good. And he's actually doing his I work you well. down. I can take you back up. Exactly. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. Okay, money back? There's no need to knock us out this time, <laughs> right? <laughs> he's like, yeah, oh, maybe, because it is still a secret path. Of course not. This uh, time, we'll go back through the furnace court. So we still aren't allowed to see a secret path. And why do we need you? Just tell us the path you used before. Holy, give us someone else. <laughs> Please, don't be like that. <laughs> We have so much history together. Can't you have a little... Well, if we have so much history, tell me your secret path. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guy. <laughs> uh, we're looking around. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? Why isn't she here, actually? She already went back. What? As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. Nah, but by the time we're back up, she's jailed. What? She just ditched us and went back? Yeah. How could you let her? I agree. That's kind of baloney. She left without Sampo? <laughs> That's crazy. Ugh, enough about <laughs> Sampo. We need him for this trip. Okay. And we can still get rid of him after. <laughs> Miss Sila, I'm still here, you know. I love it. I actually love oh, it. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. Oh, here we go. What is it? She left us a letter. Oh. Hmm. No. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency Can we just read letters? It, please? I've never gotten one of those before. No. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? No, let's read it. Stop overthinking and just open it. Thank you, Don. Rednos March Don Hong. By the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you of my plan. I was afraid that you would strongly object, which might sway my resolve. She would be right. I would have objected. <laughs> Madame Cocolia raised me up, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bellabog and his people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzled me, I can't let go of all the precious memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly, and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. This is my goal as a daughter, but also my duty as a Silvermane guard. I get this, like honestly, it makes so much sense. But I'm aware of the risks I might face on this journey, so if I fail to win my mother's approval, or if something happens to me, Please forward this letter to the 
to the Landau siblings, I believe that's how you say it. Landau siblings, and ask for their help. Serval and Gepard are honorable people with enormous power in Bellabog. They're brother and sister. They're brother and sister, and they're both. I have the I have the whole fam in my party. Honorable people with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. I'm sure they will un unreservedly help you in your search for the Stellaron once they see my seal and handwriting. Branya Rand. So that's what Rand was. I forgot that's what was her family name. Wow, okay. Brother and sister Landa. Uh-huh. I know the brother must refer to Jepard, but who could the sister be? The guitar girl. Oh, Sir Val. So she's <laughs> Jepard's older sister. <laughs> Jepard? Nah, it's Geptalep. It's not Jep. How very astute of you. I hope nothing else happens to Branya. <laughs> Maybe the sister refers to Geppard. <laughs> hey, stay on Oh, track. sorry, sorry. Sampo. Do you know the Landau siblings? Do you? Landau. Uh, yeah, we're all friends. friends. Quote I mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past. Of course. But the sister? <laughs> She's much <sweeter. laughs> uh, Today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. He definitely dealt with the brother when he was being, like, talked to by the guards or something, right? And the sister just won't shut up, I'm sure. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. Okay. Wow. Okay, not good with farewells. I think that might be it. That might be it for us today. Trailblaze mission. Cleanse in the darkness outside. Continue after reaching blah, 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 level 24. Well, you see, outsider. Dr. Dig, you're the other rapper. Boss God has been taking... Yep. Yeah. Who the heck are you? <laughs> oh, the host of the Fight Club. No way. I remember he was one of the answers at the start of this quest that we did. So what's this now? Oh, we literally cannot pro progress. We have to do this first. Okay, well, uh, it seems we're gonna have a little chat with everyone here. Haha, <laughs> JK, you can't interact with them, which is wonderful. Probably because this is where you start the new quest. What I will be doing is recording this. I'll see if it's interesting or not. The Universal Equilibrium. If it's good, then uh, will be a video as well. If it's not good, then I'll probably upload it to the second channel and I'll be back here with another episode of this. With this extremely spicy, in the sweltering morning sun quest. Alright, we're finally getting somewhere though, and that that's exciting. Alright, hey gang, thank you so much for watching today's episode. This was way better. I, 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 feel, I feel fed after that one, although I still want to keep playing more, but I think that's just what it is when you're more or less addicted to a video game. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this story. Very excited to see what happens next. Uh, I'm gonna go ascend now and level up a little bit. Maybe I get to do more things in the game, it'll be great. I'll See you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Lots of love and bye bye.